Ah, yeah. Right, we're going to plant some uh, biennials. Sweet William mixed. I got these off a magazine. Um, the by Mr. Father Girls and the magazine was amateur gardening. Right, what do I mean by biennials? It means that you sow the seeds this year, they'll go into plants this year, but they won't actually flower till next year. So you need to have a bit of patience for things like this. But I think with Sweet Williams, they're worth it because they smell fantastic and they look nice too. They remind me a little bit of uh, those little dianthus. That's that's what I think they look like. But they're, they're really nice and sweet smelling. So, I've got a seed tray prepared. It's raining. This is a typical summer weather where I live. We've had our one day of summer. That's it now for the next couple of months. Rain, grey skies, about 18 degrees C. Right, so I've already got the compost in. What we do first is water it before we put the seeds in. Because if you water it when the seeds are in, you'll just scatter them everywhere. So that's been watered now. Right, these only have to get buried about a quarter of an inch deep. So I'm just going to scatter some seeds on. And then I'm going to scatter a handful of compost over the top of them. Right, there's plenty in there. When they start to grow, I'll thin them out to two inches apart and keep them over winter in my polytunnel. Next spring, um, late winter, early spring, I'll get them out of the polytunnel and I will plant them about nine inches apart. Um, and then they will grow and fill those spaces, fill those gaps. Although, if you've seen many of my videos, you know I haven't got the luxury of soil borders. 95% um, of my stuff is going in pots, so I'll probably put one per small pot. Just cover that with compost and when the seeds get covered don't need to cover them too deeply right and quite importantly the last thing I'm going to do with these is I'll write a label out um, and stick a stick a name on it so I know exactly what they are because in a few weeks time I'll look at that and I'll think why on earth have I got a tray of soil in my polytunnel so that's it, biennials, yeah, you need to be patient for them. These will flower next year. It's now June, um, I'll plant them out late winter. It's proper chucking it down. <laughs> I'll plant them out late winter next year, early spring, and I'll get uh, some lovely sweet smelling flowers from these. Right, before I get absolutely drenched with the rain, I'll go now, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more free gardening related videos.